Hello, and welcome to this episode of The Arctic Dungeon Master. Today, I got a package in the mail. It's fairly light, uh, but uh, it's a dungeon in a box. So let's go see what it is. Of course, the sound behind me is, of course, my 3D printer. If you do not have a 3D printer, I recommend getting one. This resin printer is amazing. I'll talk about that. I swear I will make a video about 3D printing soon. Just not this weekend. I, of course, or, well, unfortunately, I'm going to have my wisdom teeth taken out tomorrow. So it's an emergency surgery. So it's going to be fun. Which totally puts my D&D &D game into jeopardy. So if you have ever had to postpone a D&D &D game, guys, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you guys about it. Alright, so Dungeon in a Box. Still doing year three, by the way. Nothing against Dungeon in a Box, but the post office really screwed up the delivery on this one. They had it for a whole week. I actually had to go to them with the tracking number and be like, hey, this says it's been here for a week, and you guys are going to send it back next week. Can I have it? Where's my yellow slip? Anyhow, they didn't give me a yellow slip. They just went and got me. Let's see what's in this sucker. All right. So, this box was prepared and checked by Tim C., a fearsome dragon. Well, Tim, let's hope you did a good job. Quality control is nothing to joke about. All right, dungeon in a box. Battle in paradise. It's actually been a busy week, so I actually have not even skimmed through this, but I totally dig this. This is cool. This is very cool looking, actually. Um... Maybe because it looks like a deer elk creature, and it has an awesome tail. I live in Alaska, so elk are cool. Uh, once again, awesome NPCs to fight. Uh, so, messing with Out of the Abyss, um, which is my first out-of-the-box campaign, I think that these have actually developed from the railroading style of game from year one, especially year one, to this open world, and the book is way more laid out um, like a actual Wizards of the Coast campaign book, and I like that. I think it adds a higher elevation of uh, professionalism to Dungeon in a Box. Um, before I would have recommend them, now I am highly confident I would recommend them for new DMs to just get going. Because for 36 bucks a month, you get a whole lot of stuff to run an actual campaign. And when you're starting out, you just cannot beat that level of pricing. Alright, so I uh, did not get the one shot. I haven't been interested in any of the one shots recently. Uh, they've just not been striking my fancy. But if you're getting them, let me know if I'm missing out. Um, I'm not. I didn't look that interested in the the, the tower. Um, it wasn't something that I was into. I I think that I could have made that myself. Um, but I feel like I should like get it and review it. So here is the Fae Unicorn, the wonderful creature from the cover. I loved that thing. Uh, that was cool. And then this is the Iron Blood Admiral, the uh, NPC I showed as soon as I opened up the book. So we'll have to take a closer look at these guys. Dexter, I'm not letting you outside. All right, so of course we got the wonderful skinny minis. Uh, just some amazing little guys here. Sorry, I'm look, taking a look at these guys because well, they're awesome. So here we go. Wonderful skinny minis. And of course we got the bases. So we got the anchor of Valentine. And 
then the enchanted sailboat. Enhanced sailboat. So these little cards can add to your vessel, I guess. I don't know. I haven't really looked in to see what these legacy cards, although they're not really legacy cards, because here's the legacy cards right here. So here is the uh, cardboard 3D terrain. Uh, I have not put any 3D of these terrains since the first video. Um, again, not really something I'm into. All right, here's the map. So, uh, let me know what you think. Yeah, this map is interesting. Looks like we got some type of creature going across it. So it seems like the characters are about to lose their boat. Seems to be what I think is happening. But I could be wrong. Again, I haven't read this. Uh, and this is adventure number nine, so the end is coming. The end is coming. So I think it's uh, just appropriate to take a look at the wonderful custom minis. All right, so here are the custom minis from this month's box. Hope you enjoy the forest theme because I thought it was appropriate, even though this is a sea battle. So here is that uh, Iron Blood Admiral, um, him and his fancy little chain. Uh, his base is uh, looks like it's wood, so planks on the ship, I guess. Look at that six pack, isn't that ridiculous? I mean, the detail. It's pretty cool. So that's, that sword is actually his hand. At least I believe that's a sword. Maybe it's a gun. Um, so apparently his body can turn into weapons. Oh, okay. So he's not holding that chain. This is his other hand because there's the fist. All right, so that is kind of cool. Very interesting. Uh, if you're not playing Dungeon in a Box... You got a lot of explaining to do about this guy if you just throw him up on your table. But either way, I think your players would love him. He's very interesting and unique. Uh, should be fun to paint up too. Now the magnificent creature here. This is that fey uh, elk, I think. Oh, what do they call it? Oh, the fey unicorn. Okay, so. A lot of cool things you can do with him. You don't necessarily have to paint him as they depicted in the book. Oh, there's the horn. I don't know how I've missed that horn so many times. My eyes are just glued right to the antlers, which are pretty cool, actually. Uh, I love the uh, foliage on the base. Uh, he looks like he would be fun to paint. I think he's cool looking so i got both minis for this month i am still missing the minis from the dragon forge one which i'm kind of bummed about but hopefully i get them anyhow ah these are the custom minis both of them are cool not sure if i'll paint any of them ah I think I could find other uses for them in my games. Not sure if I'll play this game, but um, they would. I would definitely paint them, I think. They could be fun. Thank you for watching this video from the Arctic Dungeon Master. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you can get notifications. And if you really, really liked it, 
please think about supporting this channel by clicking on the buy me a coffee link in the description below. Every little bit helps. Thanks guys. See you next week.